Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today with TaylorMade at the Kingdom. We're talking with Matt Bovey. We're going to talk about brand new M5, M6 irons, two new game improvement offerings from TaylorMade. I know you're super excited about Absolutely. these, especially because of the introduction of SpeedBridge. Yeah, so brand new for 2019 in both M5 and M6 game improvement irons, we have a new technology which you've referred to as SpeedBridge. And what's so revolutionary about SpeedBridge this year is that it completely changes the way that we design the iron and the way the iron behaves at impact. Ultimately, golfers are going to get more distance with better sound and feel thanks to SpeedBridge. Yeah, and I know that was a key thing for you guys that you wanted, you know, a lot of game improvement irons, players can get the launch, they can get the distance, but they sound and feel terrible, quite frankly, and I know a lot of work went into really giving these a much improved feel. Yep, absolutely. So typically with the game improvement iron, that's exactly the trade-off. To get the distance out of a game improvement iron, you need to build it flexibility into the face. And flexibility is what gives you that stereotypical harsh sound and feel that is associated with a game improvement iron. So with SpeedBridge, we set out to improve the sound and feel of a game improvement iron, but what we found was we unlocked additional ball speed as well, so we get this fantastic combination. And I know part of what's helping you do what you wanted to do from a performance standpoint is that the speed pocket has been completely re-engineered from where it was in previous models. Yeah, exactly. So again, thanks to that speed bridge changing the way that the iron behaves, um, we're able to use a new cut through speed pocket, which is more flexible than anything we've ever offered in a game improvement iron before. And the way that we're able to do that is the speed bridge, you can see it here on the back of the iron, spans across the cavity back, tying the sole of the iron with the top line of the iron. By reinforcing the top line, we add extra rigidity into the upper perimeter of the iron. So this is really key when you talk about putting in a more flexible cut through speed pocket. So this speed pocket is now um, completely disconnect the lower portion of the face and the sole. The face is literally free floating in space. So by doing that, we're able to put in more flexibility and anytime you get more flexibility, you're gonna get more ball speed. And that it changes the way that the face behaves at impact because of the speed bridge. And you were telling me before we jumped on camera here that in terms of the sound and feel and how much progress you've made in that area, that from maybe where you were with some of your previous models of game improvement irons, you've moved, I think it was, you said, 40% closer from that spot to almost to the feel of like that pure forged muscle back iron. Exactly. So that's the ultimate goal, right, from an iron design is give me all the game improvement performance and give it to me in something that's going to feel like a blade. And that's exactly what SpeedBridge sets out to do. And as you mentioned, we make a big step in that direction. So when you break down the sound and feel of game improvement iron, it really comes down to the frequency you produce and how long you, um, it produces that frequency. And that's what golfers interpret as feel. Sound ultimately is feel. Um, and when you, so what you want to do is you want to produce a high frequency with a short duration. And that's what gets you closer to feeling like a player's iron. That's exactly what the speed bridge does. Again, by reinforcing that top line, we eliminate the top line's ability to flex at impact, creating a low frequency vibration and that harsh sound and feel. So now you get a faster click like a, um, like a player's iron, but you get it with the game improvement package. Gotcha. And of course, we've got M5 and M6. Yep two unique shapes, one we would maybe sort of call a compact game improvement iron, the other more traditional game improvement exactly. iron. Tell us a little bit about the target player maybe for each of the models. Sure, let's start with M6. So M6 is your core game improvement iron designed for a mid to high handicapper. Um, it's got a little bit longer blade length, a little bit larger face, it's got some offset built in, a medium thickness top line with a moderate sole width to make it more forgiving through the turf. The name of the game there is we want this to help players with the consistency of shots, um, get that ball up in the air, get it as far down uh, as possible to help make the game a little bit easier and fun if possible, right? Um, M6 is also offered with a uh, shaft that's going to help promote that high launching ball flight, KBS okay. Max 85 in steel and then a Fujikura Atmos Orange for graphite. Gotcha. Now the M5, which you're holding there, is a uh, what we term a compact game improvement iron, as you mentioned, and it has all the technology built in that the M6 has, but it does it in a smaller, more traditional shape. 
So we do that through the use of multi-material construction. We incorporate tungsten into this head, which allows us to have the blade length be a little bit shorter, uh, less offset, smaller top line, and a narrower sole that's going to give a um, little bit better players the ability to work the ball still. You're going to get cleaner turf interaction. So this one's designed for uh, your mid handicap range, mid to even to low handicap. We've had several of our um, staff, home pro staff um, players around the country come out, test these, and there have been several that have, it fits their eye and now they're getting their performance. So the older gentlemen that maybe have lost a little bit of head speed over the years as father time ha has caught up with them, right? It You're gives, looking at one. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, this will give you the performance, but now you don't have to take the larger club face to go with it if you used to like looking at something smaller. Yeah, and this in the playing position at a dress does look very compact and what stands out is really the sort of the limited offset. Yeah, exactly. So if you're a second swing customer looking to improve your iron play in 2019, need a little bit more performance, but also are looking for some more feel, M5, M6 could be two great options for you. Of course, we'll take your old irons in on trade, get you a new set of M5s or M6, help you hit some more greens in 2019 and shoot some lower scores. Matt, we appreciate it. Thanks. Absolutely. Thanks, Chris. Thanks.